Welcome to the city. Population, some 410,000 people. Each one heading a separate way in a seemingly chaotic world, forced to interact with those around him, merely by his inability to avoid contact in the urban jungle. A rat race of people scurrying about absorbed in their own affairs, trapped in a backwards world bombarded by incessant noise, crowds, and stress. And I used to be one of them. That is, until one day, I was rather fed up with it all and decided that I could change something. I don't expect everyone to really understand what I mean. Many people can't conceive of moving forwards in a backward moving world. The lights and noise have numbed their minds and reduced their relationships to mere frivolity. And sometimes, it's rather funny. And the problems don't end there. And that's a problem with people. Even when you do manage to get a real conversation with someone, we only end up skipping along the surface, instead of really going out into the deep water. How many times can you talk about the weather, with all the really interesting things that you've done? Why do we wallow in triviality? How's it going? Not much. The problem simply stated is this, we only really care about ourselves. Every single thought, word, and action has one true motivation, getting what I want. Who cares what anyone brings to the table? It's my table. The irony of it is that though I may recognize these problems, I am like Oedipus. Unable to escape my destiny. He never really talked to me that much. I don't know, it just didn't seem that interesting. I mean, we had a few classes, but I'm really tired. Cool. I really only saw Richard and family reunion. We have all our contests, like sack race, etc. But he just sat away from all the action. It's a tragedy, but he's definitely going to go. We never got to talk about sex or politics or anything. You know, we kept his mouth shut. Good kid. We just played the cards that were dealt him. And he was always dealing with something. You can always see it. The last dive is a lot like the first. You can see the bottom of the pool, but you're not exactly certain what's going to happen when you get there. You aren't going to want to do it again. You want to do it just right. Oh, Dickwit. You guys remember him? Yeah, he was always kind of a sad and depressed kid. I always thought he was a punk, though. Always acting like he had problems. We all have problems. Anyways, I always told him his life was hopeless. He was always pretty shitty. I guess he took my advice and killed himself. It's just that I still can't believe it. I mean, there didn't even seem to be anything wrong with him. It just wasn't working out. And I would have done anything if I could have helped him, but he didn't tell me anything about it. And it was completely unexpected. I, I really liked him. It's just, I, I couldn't connect with him. He was so distant, and I just can't believe it. 